So first up here is a 1965 Washington Quarter. Now you can see here on the front, it looks like a normal quarter, nothing's wrong with it. However, if we go here to the back, that is where the error is taking place and that will give the coin some value. Now the reverse, that means the back of the coin has been struck through. So that's why this quarter here sold for over $115. Moving right along, I could see someone finding this and thinking the quarter is damaged or possibly a drier coin. However, this quarter is actually a mint error. This is a 1966 quarter that was struck on a 10 cent planchet. So it was struck essentially on a dime planchet. So you see there that it also has a uniface reverse as well. Nothing there, no design on the reverse. And that's why this quarter here sold for over $350. Moving right along, one of my favorite types of errors to look for in pocket change. So simple, always look for these on any types of coins. It's the off-center error. Now it could be struck 5% off-center, it could be struck 50% off-center, but you always wanna be on the lookout for these. This is a 1976 Bicentennial Washington quarter. Now this quarter here sold for over $260. Moving right along to another quarter. Now this is a similar type of error. It's not an off center. However, it's been triple struck. It's on a 1998 Washington quarter. So a more modern quarter. Now you can see that clearly in the image display that it's been triple struck. And that's why this coin sold for over $300. Next up is another 1998 quarter that's been multi-struck. Now you can see that there again and the image is displayed and that's why this quarter here sold for over $300 as well. This next quarter here is a no dated quarter, however it is silver and you can see that the design of the quarter is faded all along the rim of the quarter and that is because it is a die adjustment strike taking place on the quarter and that takes place both on the front and the back of this coin. Now this quarter here sold for over $140. All right guys, you guys know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe in the middle, and until tomorrow, I will see you all in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.